I think this story might be the thing that makes sure Herschel Walker doesn't become a senator. It might be the death of his campaign. I can't, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is fucking hilarious, okay? It's sad. It's very sad. It's also very, very, very funny considering what happened uh, two weeks ago. Another woman has come forward accusing Herschel Walker of paying for her abortion. The second one in this election. A few weeks ago, there was a massive scandal that dropped talking about how Herschel Walker, the extremely no compromise anti-abortion candidate who believes there should be no compromise. That means no exception for rape, no exception for incest, no exception for when it's of a child, no exception whatsoever. That candidate, and he said he's had this position on abortion his whole life. It was found out that he paid his ex-wife due to his ex-wife coming forward with an abortion. Now, originally the woman was anonymous and he said, I had no clue who this woman was. I have no clue who this woman is. And then it was revealed the woman was his ex-wife. Now he still denied it. He denied it at his debate. He denied it with his debate with uh, Senator Walker. The one debate, there was a second debate that he didn't show up to because he's scared. And now a second woman has come forward claiming that he paid her for an abortion. Let's listen to the story. A second unnamed woman has come forward accusing Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker of pressuring her to have an abortion. The woman says that Walker paid for the procedure after a six-year relationship. Walker has said he opposes abortion with no exceptions. The allegations come less than two weeks to the Senate election in Georgia, a contest that will likely determine whether Republicans win back majority in the chamber. The claimant spoke anonymously to a news conference organized by lawyers in Los Angeles. Herschel Walker is a hypocrite, and he is not fit to be a U.S. senator. And showed receipts and greeting cards claiming to document her relationship with Walker. She told reporters she became pregnant in 1993. He encouraged me to have an abortion and gave me the money to do so. To be to clear, not only do we have two people's testimony with the first person showing the card that was sent with his handwriting, we have this second person not only showing another card with his handwriting, but also receipts from their time together as well. The evidence of, of his behavior is just keeps stacking up. Like denying it at this point is denying what seems to be evident reality that he did engage in this behavior. Uh, his campaign is not going to accept it because if they were to accept it, it would basically be guaranteeing the death of his campaign. I think this story might be the thing that makes sure Herschel Walker doesn't become a senator. It might be the death of his campaign. But if he accepts it, then it's for sure the death of his campaign. So he's basically just going to keep denying it. This story makes that more difficult to deny, but that isn't going to stop him. He's just a liar. He's not a very intelligent person, but, uh, but he, he is smart enough to understand that if he admits to this mistake he made here, and he, saw, he admits to a lot of mistakes in his past. He wrote books about his mistakes. He talks about his mistakes. He doesn't admit to the claim of his son, Christian Walker, that he put a gun to his ex-wife's head or or the abuse that, that was suffered there or, or, or his just general fatherless uh, fatherlessness as, as in not being there for his children which his son has complained about he claims a little bit of that but he, he didn't he, he's admitted to a lot of it he will not he's not able to admit to this if he admits to this it's over so he's just gonna just deny this as well even though like it's so evident it was evident two weeks ago but now it's even more evident it's like there's like how do, denying it at this point is just having a um a let's say flexible relationship with reality i went to a clinic in dallas but i simply couldn't go through with it i left the clinic in tears when i told herschel what had happened he was upset and said that he was going to go back with me to the clinic the next day for me to have the abortion. He then drove me to the clinic the following day and waited for hours in the parking lot until I came out. Reuters could not independently confirm her claim. Walker is a former NFL football star and is a first-time candidate endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Walker has said he opposes abortion, including for rape, incest, or to protect the health of the mother. 
Walker had already denied allegations he paid another woman to terminate her pregnancy in 2009, calling it a flat-out lie on media outlet The Daily Beast. Recent polls show Walker trailing slightly behind Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock of Georgia. Oh, God, the fact that they're so tight, so short after this scandal just shows how little I think most Americans care about hypocrisy when it comes to an issue as divisive as abortion, if it means that they at least get another point in their crowd, another point in their team, that they're like, well, you know, as, as long as we can ban women from having abortions, we'll allow our political leaders to get them behind closed doors while no one's looking. Twice, twice. Doesn't matter. It's and who knows? I mean, it happened once. Now we know it's happened twice. How many times has this happened? This is just two people. These are just the people who come forward. Who knows how many times this has happened? This is honestly embarrassing behavior, man. But we're going to see the same conservatives who said defended him at the time saying, well, we don't know for sure if this is true. We don't know for sure if this is true, even though it's basically impossible to deny this at this point. Well, you know, if we if we get Herschel, we get to save more babies. We get to restrict women's bodies. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's a hypocrite. OK, got you. We'll see. We'll see if the Georgia voters uh, at all care about the hypocrisy of Herschel Walker.